ahead of the curve. Maybe you've heard someone or something being referred to as ahead of the curve, meaning that it was more advanced, innovative, or above average. We moved out of the city years ago, ahead of the curve. You might be telling your friend who wants to move to the countryside now that it's trendy. Perhaps you're giving advice to your child who is falling behind in school. You need to stay ahead of the curve. Pre-reading is probably a good idea. Always be adding to your knowledge if you want to stay ahead of the curve in the job market. A coworker might be giving you advice on your career. As you can see, if you're ahead of the curve, you're out in front of most people, you're leading the pack, you're above average. If you're falling behind or are being left in the dust, then you may need to focus on getting ahead of the curve. Being and staying ahead of the curve seems like a good idea, and indeed, it is what many people dedicate themselves to. Just take a look at any social media and you'll see people jockeying for position, trying to impress others, giving everyone the impression of being ahead of the curve. Nobody seems to be satisfied or fulfilled by living a solid and secure but ordinary or average life. Indeed, we mostly see and hear stories of overachievers, the wildly successful, high flyers and go-getters, those that constantly fight to stay ahead of the curve. Most of us are average or normal, however, and it seems that being ordinary in certain cultures is viewed in an almost shameful manner. On the contrary, we should all be proud of who we are and what we've achieved, even if it's just average or not ahead of the curve. After all, a strong and successful society, culture, or nation is not built upon the few who achieve too much, but is built upon the small contributions of each and every one of us. It may seem logical that the idiom ahead of the curve comes from mathematics and refers to a bell curve, which is a graph depicting normal distribution of something, such as school grades. Most people will be in the middle, the highest part of the curve, with many less being in the lower parts of the curve, to the left and to the right. If you are to the left of the middle, you are behind the curve and are below average. But if you are to the right of the middle, you are ahead of the curve and are above average. Reference to a bell curve makes sense, but evidence points to the idiom originating in the U.S. military during the 1970s in reference to the mathematics of flight. 
You see, an aircraft's power curve describes how a plane's speed changes in response to varying levels of engine force. There is a specific speed at which a particular aircraft is most efficient, and so it is in the interest of the pilots to know this speed and to fly the aircraft ahead of the curve. For it can be dangerous to fly below the power curve or at a speed less than the most efficient as it requires relatively more engine power and the plane has less lift. You don't have to be ahead of the curve in all aspects of your life. People normally excel in only one or two things, and some people in none, a wise friend might tell you. Perhaps you're discussing business ideas with a partner. We don't have to be ahead of the curve with our idea. It can be an ordinary idea, as long as we do it well and are dedicated. Been there, done that. Staying ahead of the curve is time-consuming and tiring. A cousin who has decided to concentrate on his family tells you. Accordingly, the next time you see someone or something that is more advanced, innovative, or above average, don't forget to describe it as ahead of the curve.